All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, and this is the second episode of Watch Dogs Legion, and here we are, you know, lighting a spark. So yeah, the thing still isn't performing quite as much as I hoped it would. Uh, it doesn't really bode well for future optimizations of the future Ubisoft games that are coming out. Uh, so I specifically mean Valhalla by that. So yeah, I'm sorry about the background noise. Unfortunately, there is nothing I can do about it. Some they found this to be the perfect time to start construction. So yeah, they have been going at it for the last five six days. Sucks. But anyway, if you do like my content, then please consider pressing that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel because I will be putting out more content like this. Now, unfortunately, I have a crappy PC, so uh, my content is going to be a little bit stuttery. Auto drive now enabled. Now, what I'm just going to put auto drive. Your destination. <laughs> what a nice time to actually start auto drive. So yeah, no music here because, well, it should be very obvious why there is no music here. Alright, I need to get up there. I think I already saw this mission. Uh, some guy did it. Step into procedure. It's clear. I will go that way. Area clear. Moving on. Where? What is he looking at? Clear. Moving on. What exactly was he looking at exactly? He was looking just at straight at a wall. So the AI is still not quite there. Right, so there's that around this trap. Wrap in your mouth. It's always better to engage hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat first and I don't know why the takedown didn't work there. It is supposed to work. I mean, that is the button for the takedown and I did that but for some reason he just punched her instead. So this is just your generic Ubisoft activities like collect evidence and all that. Yeah, see, we can de defiance, region defiance. This is essentially the same thing we had in Assassin's Creed I Syndicate, like where we were liberating the boroughs by doing these menial the tasks. Of London. Now, I'm not against this sort of this design. Runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the shit? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people. Yeah, as I was saying before, uh, the thing with this is, you know, when you are trying to make a game, and this is a problem I have specifically with Ubisoft, if all your games are looking extremely similar then people are going to lose interest real fast now i i was saying i have said this before launch that this is probably going to be the most innovative game of this year because of this entire system of players anyone well it is that system is actually very innovative it shakes up many things i've already done a few recruitment missions i still have to do a lot more to get people recruited i have only recruited one candidate so far but I am not disappointed by that. What I am disappointed by is the general structure and the flow of the game. Because now that the game is starting to flow, as I said during that mission, it feels like Syndicate. Because we did these sort of things to liberate the boroughs in Syndicate. And it feels just like that. This is typical Ubisoft. All their games, it, at the end of the day, they end up feeling the exact same games. And this is something they really, really should work on. 
Well, we can't go in there. And also things like this, for example, say the NPC went in, but we can also go into that door. That will increase the immersiveness. Now, I would still say this world feels alive. This world feels a lot more alive than many other open worlds that I've played. Uh, but it still needs a little bit more. It needs that, uh, how do I put it? It needs that slight variation. So like slight more interactivity. So like if NPCs can do something, we should be able to do the same. That is what this game actually needs more of. Oh no, oh no, I'm going to climb that back again. Don't do this to me. Oh, no. And also somehow they managed to screw up the driving a bit. The driving feels really bad. Like it's somehow not even as good as Watch Dogs 2 was. And Watch Dogs 2 already didn't quite feel like a good system to me. I liked Watch Dogs 1's driving, weirdly. Right, so I know. I think I know where to go with this. Suspect reported in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Received. Mobilizing now. Out. Right. No sign of the target. Over. Terminating the search. Fall back. Over. I got them. I helped out some people in distress. Let's just go. And we are going, we are going, we are going to a pipe, I guess. We are going to a pipe. That doesn't quite match what I was going for. But yeah, you know what? Who cares? We are going for a pipe. You know what? We are going for a pipe. Let's be clear. All right. Now, where the hell do I go from here? Uh, all right. This looks to be a promising way to go. Yeah, that's where we are supposed to go. And the FPS is really tanking right now. Right, so here we have completed our task. Keep all documentation and identification up to date. ID checks and searches keep London safe. You have nothing to fear if you have nothing to hide. I think permadeath actually starts after this mission. Now that this mission is done, now we can expect permadeath and stuff. Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Like the spark that they can stand up to. Right. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. Now what? 
You know what? I like Bagley more than any other character. Like seriously, I like Bagley more than any other character that I've seen. Done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out, and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Send me the deeds right now. All right, so uh, I hope you guys like my content. So if you do, then definitely consider pressing that like button. Do subscribe to my channel for more content. There is more content to come on Watch Dogs Legion and Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Cyberpunk 2077 when that comes out, if that comes out. So yeah, stay tuned to my channel for all that content. And once again, I'm sorry about the noise. Nothing I can really do about it. Uh, so I'll finally leave you guys with it. So peace.